welcome today guys I'm gonna be making a requested um, recipe and it's for a cake with poppy seeds but I'm making it muffins so if you wanted to make this on a cake you can and I'm making this an orange flavored poppy seed muffin so this recipe is for Anita so Anita I hope you like this one to make this recipe you'll need some whole milk sugar I'm using cake flour if you can't find cake flour you can use all-purpose flour some baking soda, baking powder, orange juice, and I'm using freshly squeezed orange juice, some Greek yogurt, some butter, some flavorless oil, the poppy seeds, and a pinch of salt or about a quarter teaspoon. You'll find all the ingredients listed down below in the description box with the measurements. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to put all my dry ingredients into a big bowl. I'm going to put in the flour. The sugar, baking soda, baking powder, salt, and the poppy seeds. Just whisk in the dry ingredients to combine. Set the dry ingredients aside and in a big bowl or measuring cup you're going to put in all of your wet ingredients. So the milk, the melted butter, oil, yogurt, and the orange juice. Whisk these ingredients to combine. I'm just going to add a little drop of vanilla to the wet mixture. Okay, now you're going to pour the wet mixture into the dry mixture and combine. And remember when you're mixing your batter, you don't want to over mix it because you'll get tough um, muffins or your cake will be really tough. Now I want to mention that if you wanted to put some orange zest into this, you can. I didn't want to put any, but you can. So I'm just going to take my ice cream scoop and I'm going to scoop them out and put them in my muffin tins. These go into a preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes until when you put a toothpick through it, it comes out clean. So the muffins are finished. They actually took 20 minutes. So it depends on the size you make them. They may finish faster. Or they may take a longer time. So you just have to keep an eye on them. I want these to cool down slightly before I can break into one and show you what it looks like. So guys, here you have it. My poppy seed muffins. I hope you guys enjoyed this easy recipe. I tried to make it as easy as possible for you all. I'm just going to break into one to show you guys what it looks like on the inside. Can you see that? Can you tell how fluffy inside of this muffin is? These muffins taste so delicious. Anita, you're going to love this recipe. Now, I made this with a little less sugar. But if you wanted to make this a little more sweeter, you can. So... It all depends on your taste preference. So guys, if you try this recipe, make sure and leave me a comment down below and let me know if you like it. Anita, make sure and let me know if you like it. Thank you all for watching. If you're new to my channel, I hope you remember to subscribe. And if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Thank you all and I will see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy!